Hello everyone, I'm, I'm soldiering through a cold here, so this is Dennis. It's this week, I was scolded for saying the date last week, oh. and we're back on uh, Carol Worldwide. Is, it, is, is this a, yeah. it's a, whoa, live studio audience. Jeez, dude, I got headphones here, man. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it a broadcast? Is that what this is? Welcome to our weekly broadcast. Is it a weekly broadcast? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Technically, it's not, I think, because a broadcast is like being transmitted across air. I don't know, man. We have thousands of listeners and subscribers now, so I we're think. we're in good shape. Yeah. I mean, we're definitely a force. Yes. To, like, that's the thing. I'm sick enough that I, I didn't even go to work today, but because of the dozens and dozens of fans we have. <laughs> the I'm audience. Here. I'm here right well, now. And, 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 Randy, and I, Randy and I were opining before you even got here about how our listenership seems to be uh, relative to the the the. the, the Temperature, because in the summer it was hot and we were pretty hot, and now it's down in the fifties, and that's sort of where we are. So I don't. Know. <laughs> that was just that's just one day sample. We always bother looking past that day. Right. The residuals are good though. For the temperature, you mean, or the uh, actual? <laughs> what, however you want to look at it. <laughs> however you want to look at it. Uh, so, <coughs> non-post related things. Events in town that we have to summarize. The Oyster Stroll. Oyster Stroll, yeah. Anyone go to that? Yeah, well, I didn't go to that. But you know what I love about these strolls that happen in Westminster is there's always the the, the people that, like when you start at a stroll, it starts, what, 12, 2 o'clock, something? I went, I didn't go to that. I didn't go to that or the Wine Fest, but I went out to like Rock Salt and uh, Liberatories and a few other places mm-hmm. around, mm-hmm. and people were still. How many meals do you eat a day? People were, well, I got some oysters at Rock Salt Dessert at Libertories. And Man. Then, uh, and then chips at Buffalo Wild Wings. So we were all over you the place. You got chips at Buffalo Wild Wings? Because, yeah. Chips and queso because... Wait a second. So we spent a lot of time talking about Steve's eating. Let's yeah. talk about your restaurant yeah. hearing. Because like, I think we're just starting to scratch the surface. It's like, like every oh, meal it's, it's is, a, is a restaurant hop. Not a, Yeah. It's like you probably... Where did you get your drinks? Did you get them somewhere else? I got them at Rock Salt. Okay. With some, well, I've never had oysters before. I wanted to try them. Okay. So now, I really, now I'm a big fan. Are you I really? get it now. Really? Because I don't really I get, get it. it. I don't get it. Yeah. So now you're even more into Rock Salt. Yeah, that's possible. You fell in love with them again. Yes, I did, for sure. For the, like the first time. But I love how there's people that are so hardcore. Like, we went out thinking, well, the bars are going to be empty. Nobody's going to be out because the, the stroll is over. The big orgasm of people is is climaxed already. No, people <laughs> are, they stay out. They go out. The, the stroll stops, but they just go to their breakout sessions in the different bars. Right. Well, that's why everyone loves, the businesses love having these events. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody is trashed, and it's so much fun. Hmm. So I think. The, so you kind of you were like a peripheral part of the stroll. Yes, I would say that. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go break this down. You went to three places for a meal. Yes, that okay. was correct. This was one meal, but you went three different places. Broke it up into yes. Yeah, so so, so tell me how this whole thing transpired. It all transpired. We went to Rock Salt, sat on the patio, saw like t- like. 20 people we knew, so we hung out with them. I got a blue moon and some soup. What time of day is this? This was like, uh, we just dropped our daughter off at the, at the Westminster High School a homecoming, which was this weekend also. So all the parents were out, which so, was oh, this another is, thing. So this was like the night of homecoming, Saturday yes, night. it was Saturday and a homecoming. So, man, there's just so much to unpack here. And you're a guy who drinks soup and beer? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that is, I... I've never thought of soup and beer. So never like, figure me out. Soup, like you want chunky, you want like a chunky, hearty soup and beer? Is yeah. that? It's kind of like salad and beer. I can't do that. A of course, spicy, you would never do a salad anyway. Our rules will collide here. Yeah. We had a, a spicy cream of crab with lots of Old Bay. I could see the well cream of crab with beer. I could see that. I like both things. Yeah, I but like. Either. I either want, I, I, I don't drink and eat in general, but man. Really? But oh, wow. That's, that's an almost, that's a food rule. You got to have the right. You gotta have the right beverage with with your, with your uh, with your eating. But, I, but, blue, but I, this blue doesn't. Moon is so smooth. It's like not even a beer. Yeah, I I, I love me some blue moon, and I, this doesn't violate any food rules. I just it's just it's just an interesting. Uh, it's an interesting all right, thing. so you like you basically had all the liquid at Rock Salt. Yeah. You had beer and, and so uh, soup. yes yes, and then and my then, wife my wife wanted to get dessert. Well, wait, so, where's the meal though? What meal yeah. did you have? It spread out over three places, guys. Come well, on, you just jump. I'm this. talking about the entree. So, so we went from there was no. All right, let's stop interrupting him, okay? I, I think the, so. You uh, get beer and soup at what did at you oysters? Get? But I got oysters too. Okay. Oh, okay. That changes the entire. Okay, so right. you had oysters. They're like this protein testosterone superfood. 
that uh, I know what an oyster is. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bivalve. So um, she got what did she get? She got soup and rockfish bites, which are phenomenal at Rock Salt. So okay. We wanted to stay very close to the high school just in case we were needed. So then we went to Libertori's. Has uh, who drove? I did. Okay. Not not drunk at all. Okay. Phenomenal desserts. So we went there for so that. So where does the Libertori's get their desserts? Or do they make their own? Uh, I don't know. They probably make I'm, their I'm own. I've not heard Libertori's has phenomenal desserts. Not that I'm against or for Libertori's. Yeah, it's good. yeah go check it's out their know. dessert menu. It's good stuff. How does it rate to a peanut butter remember, bomb? Remember, uh, nothing <laughs> rates to a peanut butter bomb. <laughs> so you left the peanut butter bomb. You know why? Get, okay. Here's a food rule. Yeah. The peanut butter bomb is so rich that I needed a buffer time, like the driving time, to go to the other place. I see. Because they had a peanut butter, Reese's peanut butter pie mm. up at Libertori's, which was very good. <laughs> the bomb would have been too much to follow the beer <laughs> okay. in the soup. You needed a 10 sense. minute breather. Yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah. now you're at Libertori's. Yeah, we had I, I, some decaf coffee, slice of pie. Okay. It's all good. So then... So then... All the students... But wait, there's more. There is more. So we leave there and... And what time is this? This is like uh, 9 o'clock. Okay, yeah, go a, on. It's an event. Yeah, this is a real thing. No, we were out till 12. Okay. okay, so then what happened? Then we got word that our kid and a bunch of friends were all going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings after the, after the dance, which like okay. everybody went to the, uh, from the homecoming. So we went there, met up with a few other friends, and sat in the bar area... Split some chips and queso. I got water. Uh huh. So did your did your daughter know that you were staking out the Buffalo Wild Wings? Yes. Yes, but we stayed far enough away from her. So you friends. this this was not a dad embarrassment project. No, it was not. It was just a well. First of all, um, no, I'm not gonna go there. But yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> well, like you know, all these teenage girls are, wear, are wearing these little dresses and stuff, and I'm thinking, oh, they're all gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings where all these. Drunk road men are hanging out. Hell, freaking no! Gotcha. We're gonna go there and just you're just gonna be like bat. Just be you're gonna be exactly. Up at, you're gonna that be, is exactly it. You're gonna be in the rafters. Yes, just in case. And that is not allowed, as I found out. <laughs> but they let me stay. <laughs> so I was well, like, "Well, you ordered chips. So. We're not having our daughter and her friends going into this this place where these drunk men are hanging out in a bar." So, yeah, and, but other parents had the same idea, so we all kind of got together and. Okay, so no. you had like a parallel party. Like the parents of had a separate party that was way cooler because you guys could drink. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like one night in the, the Goldstein household. Yeah. And so like yeah. my wife is always like when we go on a date, she's like, oh, we can go get a drink here and like go this, this other thing. And like my brain stops working at that point. I'm like, mm -hmm. why would we go do thing here and then there? Like all things are at one place. Right. But this is, now I understand, like, yeah, part it's, of the... It's fascinating. It's good. But listen, Saturday the 13th, we had the Oyster Stroll. We had the Wine Fest. I went to the Wine Festival. Annual tradition for myself. The mm -hmm. gym in Westminster had th this strongman competition that people from all over the country came to, to compete in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, uh, there were at least two high schools that had homecoming events. I mean, this is like Westminster's biggest day ever, ever, since the day they were incorporated, I would think. Wow. Uh, Corbett's Charge is a pretty big day. <laughs> it was okay, but how long did that last? Do you know what Corbett's Charge is? From the Civil War? Yeah. 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 Okay. Just making sure. I read the plaque. For our listeners, Corbett's Charge was General Jeb Stewart was mucking around down here, and a small Union detachment led by, uh, I think it was Colonel Corbett, attacked him, and uh, Jeb Stewart repulsed the 70 of them, but he captured some wagons, and instead of being up in Gettysburg scouting, he was schlepping through uh, the hills, bringing wagons to Robert E. Lee. Part of the reason why Lee didn't have the landscape. Part of the reason why Pickett's Charge happened. Pickett's Charge, of course, being the high watermark of the Confederacy. So you could say Westminster's integral to Civil War history. How Absolutely. A friend of mine fantastic. lives like on the hill where Corbett's Charge actually was. Did he just every day just take a run at some phantom Confederates? He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so Corbett's charge, you know, this past weekend, it's it's kind of a toss up. I tell you, what was almost epic. I didn't make it to the oyster straw. I went last year, but my car almost got towed towed because of the oyster straw. Mm. And here's why, though. Here's why. Friday morning, I came in, and I parked where I always park. You know, right outside of uh, you know uh, Carroll Worldwide Towers here. And you know, I I looked at the the no parking sign on the meter, and there's a one on every single meter all the way down. No parking. It's Saturday, 
and it had oyster stroll on there. I'm like, cool. So I, and I pull up a park, and then about a half an hour later, I go out to leave, and the guy with the beer truck is, is st st sitting out there right behind my car. He's like, is this your car? I said, I said, yeah. He's like, well, I'm glad you're here because it's about to get towed. And so I look, and they're on the meet, outside the meter that I parked at. I didn't pay the meter, but there are two signs. <laughs> and one of them actually <laughs> says no parking on Friday. There, are, there were 20 signs down the road, no parking on Saturday. And I happened just to park at the one sign that said no parking on Friday. It was the same color. You know, no, I mean, it's, it, no one would, no one would assume. The mayor really tried to get you right there. I think the mayor did. I think the mayor did. And I, and I actually was pretty frustrated and I apologized to the beer man and this nice lady, I think her name was Heather, that I, I, I was overly frustrated about it because I just, I almost. But, but you didn't get towed though. I you, didn't get towed, but I was just annoyed, mm -hmm. you know, now, because. Do you normally uh, respect the uh, parking meters? No. What, define respect. We'll pay them. No. Do all things fair. You see, so I don't know if you're a bit of an is, outlaw, aren't this, you? We're going to no, uncover something thing, about Steve today. The thing about the meters here is dark secret. Um, by the way, we're 11 minutes in. Uh, <laughs> That's a good. We have seven minutes the, to talk about your meter the meter, situation. I, I, I do. <laughs> I, let me just say, I occasionally pay the, the meters. <laughs> it, the way that occasionally, it, I don't know if I should. Say, we can edit this out. You guys decide if, if this should stay, okay? But the way that it works here on Main Street is your first. Ticket of the year. This is public you. information. There's no reason okay. that it's no. Happen. I know well, what he's going to say. I the do. first, the first, your first ticket of the year is act of the year calendar year is actually a warning. Yeah. Your second ticket is fifteen dollars, and then I thought the third was thirty, but it's actually only twenty five because I just got that last week, and so <laughs> it's it you know it, I, I first couple months I was here I'd go to the bank and get like twenty dollars and quarters and just keep feeding it. And then I, when I learned what how this works, rate? and what's the rate? It's, uh, is it a dollar and fifty cents an hour? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, that sounds about so right. So to legally and park here, four hours a day. Well, but it's supposed to be a two-hour limit too, so there is that caveat. The thing is, is they only they only get out there and ticket. It's very occasional, and only on nice sunny days. Uh, and so on a nice sunny day, if I'm feeling it, I might go out and feed the meter. But you know, it's it's a lot cheaper just to pay a couple of tickets. And oh, by the way, the other thing is. So my family, had, we have like four cars and one of them is always breaking down and in the shop and I'm always the guy responsible for going to take it to the shop. So, so you I always rotate have a, the cars. So I, but I, I, I rotate the loaner car for my mechanic. So I'm, I, it's, I, I'm frequently never parking. Right, so my car actually has received its third Notice. And which how many tickets ticket. have you, Steve, gotten for parking this year? Uh, I don't know if we need to get into that. No, Among I, actually, the cars. No, I, I, actually, I don't think I've gotten any on any of the loaners. Or anybody else's car. I mean, if you're paying the them, mechanic, as it goes to yeah, no. Look, it's I don't an economic so. choice. Like if they're going to give you if forty dollars a year to park, right? That's what you're paying. Right. right that's now. a lot less than I'm paying because right. I'm I'm paying for a permit. Like yeah. a good citizen. Yeah. Because you're such a good citizen. <laughs> How much is a permit? <laughs> Permit's like twenty six bucks a month. A month. Yeah. But if that's for the garage. Yeah. Yeah, and, luxury. And I feel like that should be that should be valid out here on Main Street too. I agree. I think the permit should be like a different permit for the right. garage, a different one for the Longwell lot. I think one oh, permit is that, is that the case? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's wow. cheaper to go to the Longwell lot than the garage. Really? Yeah, different color, different thing. Uh. I, you're, you're right. I think, I think you, you pay for your permit. You can park anywhere, meter or not. Yeah, well, agreed. That's not the rule, but all right. So you live like an outlaw. I'll 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 say right now that I have paid for maybe one meter this year. And I haven't gotten any tickets. Right. I'm not going to. Now, being, I'm, I'm, I might get a ticket, but I'm not going to pay for anything. Ironically, it's a fairly nice day right now, so they could be writing me a ticket as we speak. They could. They could be writing yeah. me a ticket, too. Yeah. This broadcast is not live, so they won't know <laughs> until Friday. But here's the thing. If I can run all the way into October on no tickets, then I'll pay right. in the winter months. Exactly. Well, and I, they're that not, are nice. They're not going to ticket you in the winter months, though. I'm going to tell you that. Well, that's the thing. And if, so it's, it, if, if, it's, it's, if it's a, if it's a nice 55 degree November right. day, Maybe. I hold out my 50 cents. But they may just assume it's not going to be a nice 50, 50, you know, 50 degree right. and, and not even bother to schedule. I don't know how the schedule works. So basically, we're you know. like you and I. Oh, and I should tell you, though. We're there's, outlaws. There's another, there's another little catch to this, right? Uh, <laughs> if you happen to have, say, I don't know, expired tags... But right, uh, you'll probably get a nice little friendly note instead of a ticket that you should, you know, put your stickers, get your, you know, because I, I apparently had, I renewed them, but I, I have put, a trick like I that. I didn't, I didn't put the sticker on there, and I'm not kidding. Three times, three times, I got a note instead of a ticket. So I should have gotten 
I should I should actually be on my sixth ticket now. Yes, so look. But the first three. So they didn't want to get you in trouble. I, That's how nice Westminster got, is. Before I even got a warning, I got little nice notes about my sticker. Yeah. So you're, I, you're really. It's a warm, friendly place. Three or four times in my life, I've gotten pulled over for a speeding ticket. Now I've gotten pulled over a lot of times for a speeding ticket. If I if I show them my my driver's license, my registration, and everything, um, I get a ticket, right? Mm-hmm. Strangely. If, oh, I, yes. if I say I don't have my registration. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know why this is. You get off of the ticket. Yes. And they give you a notice about your registration, but you don't get a, a speeding ticket. Right. They've got to issue something, I'm guessing. Why is it? And there may, it may still be a ticket, but less. it's usually less than a speeding ticket. And my understanding is the reason is the cop doesn't have to show, in court, show up in court for that. So if you get pulled over, it might be a good tip to say, oh, I, I lost my registration. I don't have it. They can look it up and see if you're legit. Sure. But right. if you don't have that, they will usually, in my case, they yep. will opt to give you a notice about your exactly. registration this is true. and not give you a speeding there you ticket. Go. And just for the record, I have traffic court next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking advice <laughs> because and you're going to traffic court. Because because I, I was it was two AM or so and I was driving down one forty and the speed limit was fifty and I had my cruise my cruise set to fifty seven. Because it was 55, went down to 50. I drove, I, I rolled right past the, the state trooper, knowing he was there. But I'm like, I'm way under. You know, <coughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not under the speed limit, but right. I'm under what he would care about. And then, it, it, you know, in, after you go through Finksburg, it, uh, it it dips down. You know, goes down the hill. That Joker sat there shooting radar from behind until I happened to hit 64, getting down that, like just drifting down. Came over, came after me, gave me a ticket. 54, 64 rather, in a 60. So I want to go to the court and have a little conversation. 64 and a 60? Or 64 <laughs> Sorry, 64. What are you going to say in court? I was coming over at 2 in the morning. Well, he's 60, just hoping the cop doesn't show up. Six, well, I'm hoping that. But I, I think that 14 miles over the speed limit is... I've never even heard of getting a ticket for that. I know technically after it's like 10 miles over, Wait, you can do it. 14, it's, you think, is like unreasonable to get a ticket for? <laughs> well, I do. Especially going you're down... driving a, past like a school. Especially down a hill. No, there's no school there. I had my... I was, I was consciously... I, what's, what, at 2 what's, what's the number where you're allowed to get a ticket? 15? I feel like after 20 miles an hour, 20. that's what it, Wow. I'm just... So like if you're go, what if you're going like... Well, I mean, if you're, if you're 45 and a 25 is a little bit different. What if kids are crossing the street? And... It's 2 freaking a.m. in the morning, okay? <laughs> the, the, late at night, the cops are more aggressive, too, because like I got a ticket... No, I got a warning because I, I didn't come to a complete stop making a right... That'll get you. Yeah. On, ...onto 140 at 2 a.m. or something. Mm-hmm. And like there's like... Nothing around except right. like a cop across the street. <laughs> just him, right? There. I couldn't see he was a cop, uh, obviously. Okay. So okay. I just I'm like, no traffic. He's not going because right. he's not making a, a right. And I'm like, I come to like a roll, look, go right. with the right turn signal. He's like, oh, you didn't stop. I'm like, right. okay. Well, so we're at 18 minutes, and this is probably the most unsubstantial pod uh, broadcast. Do you have any substantial to bring up first? <laughs> yeah, what's who? First of all, who is Jay Rome? I don't care about that guy. Do we not care about that? <laughs> no, I don't care about that dude. <laughs> J-Rome. <laughs> He's just some troll. Yeah. They, oh, Sears is closing. That, the, now, is it confirmed that our Sears is closing? Yes. It is absolutely confirmed. Mm-hmm. I heard a rumor. Carol County Times reported. I heard a rumor. Fake news, Carol Yeah. Of what's coming rumor? in? What's might, coming in? Might be a Burlington Coat Factory. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am about a Burlington Coat Factory. That, well, anything, cool. anything, so is, I anything understand, is better than nothing. I understand that like there's some sort of parallel universe going on between our mall and another mall. Yes. I'm sorry, it's not our, the town mall of Westminster and... You know who's at the town mall of Westminster? Westminster Barbershop. There is. A, you're going there today to get that short haircut shorter. Vape? No, no vaping. <laughs> that a vape, the vape dojo. Get your black belt. Go to, if anybody been to the, the North Hanover Mall. North yeah. Hanover Mall. Can't say I could ever see myself going there. Well, you've been there if you've been to the town mall of Westminster. There's, I, I know there's right a where Dick's. It is. There's a comic book store right across from it that I've been to. There's a Dick's. There's a, there's a bunch of closed stores. Like a third of the stores are even open. There's like, a, like the Yankee Candle and one of the cell phone stores are open and a jewelry store. It's exactly like the Westminster Town Mall. Well, let's take a field trip. Then we should go there live on location. You'll you'll think you just we say that every a... week. We should go somewhere live on location. Yet we set we show up every every time to record this right here in the studio. Yeah, except Dennis was sitting over here last time. He was, now he's sitting over there. I'm just staying he, a little farther away. Yeah, he's got a cold. cold. Yeah. So anyway, do you think my voice is better for radio with the cold? Mm, 
It's Worse? tough. It's, it's, it's pretty bad no matter what. So That's true. <laughs> Look, but we need, it, we need more drama, guys. Right. Either Sykesville Online or Westminster Online mm-hmm. or Westminster Online. Like we need more helicopter crashes. We need more kids fighting. Kids and dumpsters. Everybody's getting along. We need, we need more kids and dumpsters. <laughs> There's still, there's still anyone. Someone posts a meme every once in a while that like bashes millennials. There's still that's still pretty popular. Like, yeah, I, but it was like, oh, if you have a stick shift in cursive, the whole generation will be able to drive. And I'm like, these kids didn't decide not to learn cursive. Like, who yeah. decide that for them? Like, it's not like, not like millennials were like six years old being like, mm, we're not right. doing cursive. Like, some I mean, baby like, boomer. What, what happened to the abacus? Decided. You know what happened to the abacus? I mean. Yeah. Should, are we rioting that we're not using those anymore? You can be like uh, like Aristotle, me complaining that the new generation's reading scrolls too much. <laughs> that like is a legit thing. The abacus back uh, then. <laughs> what's I'm, that, I'm what's saying that new this method is of math. The new math. What is that called? Whole, whole Co- number, whole learning. Yeah. Like the Common Core stuff. Common Core. Uh-huh. Have you done Common Core math? Oh, let's let's we can talk about Ooh. that another time. You'll you'll want an abacus after yeah. working with that. <laughs> They're teaching methods, Randy. They're teaching methods. I guess, but these blocks and everything, it's just the squares, it's just too much. I don't want to wrap it up. I don't want to wrap it up. I I see your little hand motion there. Listen, but look, no. I listened yesterday, or the other day, to that, our uh, our dramatic reading of that fight that happened. Yes. It just gets funnier and funnier every time. Okay, so we we need another fight to break out so we can do another dramatic reading of that. So and we'll go longer next time. PSA. It was a, it was a someone minute, eighteen fight, seconds. Someone fight, and we will. Everything good takes at least a minute. <laughs> well, I'm, I want to make had a this conversation. Sp- we? I'm going to make a longer <laughs> script. I'm going to have John Williams create the score for Ooh, it. I love me some John Williams. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Dude, don't do Jurassic too long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't do too long, or we're going to get flagged for copyright. So. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I'm Dennis Twig. I'm Randy Goldstein. I'm Steve Lowe. See ya. Later.